Greetings, YouTube. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part 43 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We've got a lot of things to see and a lot of things to do, so let's get right to it. So, on this particular day, a man comes and visits us in the workshop. So he's asking for some kind of tuna illusion grass. Okay, it's not tuna, but I don't feel like looking up what kind of fish it is. In any case, it's some kind of medicine. And Navarro is a bit offended that he's coming to ask for it. It's known as poison. So it's rather hard to get your hands on. In so, on the one hand, it is poisonous, but this guy says that if you handle the dosage properly, it can also be used as a... What's the word? Painkiller. So it can ease the suffering of people who have sustained serious injuries. And thus, although if misused it's poisonous, it won't be a problem since he knows what he's doing. Or something. Yeah, I've always heard that use, uh, heard of that being used that way before as well. So he's already prepared a payment for us. Pretty good, don't we think? So we got a reflect mirror. Last time we saw an enemy that had reflect. It's really annoying when it's used against me, but when I'm actually equipping it, it's practically useless. Because it only does as much damage as the enemy would deal to you. So if the enemy would deal 20 damage to you on a given tick, if the ability activates it does 20 damage to them instead. But I never, ever want to be in a circumstance where the enemy can deal 20 damage to me. Nah, anyway, Avaro says it's really nice. Idiot. Doesn't he know how to play this game? Yeah, but it's not a problem about with the reward. <laughs> Well, if it's not about the payment, then is it about him himself? Is this the kind of shop they run where they just arbitrarily discriminate among their customers? No, that's not the problem either. It's the difficulty in acquiring this stuff. Well, yes, he knows it's hard to get your hands on. That's why he came to us, since we're so good at finding shit. Hmm. Well, I'm always glad to, that people are coming. But this is a bit... sketchy. In any case, he's relying on us. It's rather hard to get any supply of it. So he has decided to hire us. And if he doesn't come to us, he's rather in trouble as to finding any. So those are his parting words. Hmm. How troublesome. What to do? He should probably be back soon in order to pick this up. And I've already needs to decide whether he's going to make it before or after he comes for it. Or something. So if we actually make it, then that will fulfill the request when he comes, and if we don't, it'll probably time out or something. I'd like to make a little bit of a priority, if I remember, of actually doing that guy's request, because that's the way I do things. Now I've got to keep my eyes peeled for a mysterious creature. 
Yeah. This is Nasu, one of Eoshuli's mascot characters. And if you have, I believe it's append to, she'll come flying across the screen every so often. Okay. So that wasn't really important, but I wanted to point it out. And we picked up this buttload of goblinoids in this last trip, so... Oh yes. A buttload of goblinoids. You know, if I had enough two stars, I could... Man, you're loud. If I had enough two stars, I could upgrade Karin. So, goblinoids give us HP. Yorin doesn't get much. I mean, even Ranarin got more than him. But it, that upgrade gave a lot to Ruren. Although he's only got a, two upgrades in that series. Well, etc, etc. Now, before I forget, I want to rearrange my entire goddamn castle. I observed something when I was looking through the information. You know the encyclopedia this game kind of provides for you? I was poking through there for some definitions, and I found something very interesting. I've talked to you about these formations, haven't I? Oops. No, I kind of do want to do that. Ha! I'm an idiot. Oops. So yeah, this will work. Fortunately, we can sort these by formation type. Now you see, these are box formations. And this gives us actually two encounters. Two instances of the box formation. And if I add a couple here... I get another one. So I'm still using the same number of box formation buildings, but now I get three instances of box instead of two. Hmm, actually I think I'll use the houses instead of the shops. These are the line formation. So in this way I get three, where I got two before while using more bu while using more buildings. And I'd like to use a few pair formations as well. Same number of buildings and twice the benefit. Oh, I still have more to do, don't I? I would really like to look at those a bit closer, but... Let's just make every random thing I can. And I can finally make Kisnir's first weapon. A windmill. I can make a windmill. Okay, I want to make the gray houses now. I need good stone for that. I'm full on that other kind. And I need great stone for this. No, great clay. Hey, I can make that. Yes. Yeah, a fenced house. Gray. Yes. Yes. Sugida. So, oh, since I made a windmill, although it isn't doesn't count as important, we get a little tiny scene here. So, since the castle has such high altitude spots, the windmill can actually get a lot of power going. And people notice. I'm an ignorant hillberry, and I'm surprised that the wind can actually move things. 
景色が綺麗に見えるわ<笑>どんどん街らしくなっていく気がして嬉しいわね Well, she's interested in how it's making the scenery a bit better. And the castle is becoming more like a town every day. Huh, so, apparently, when we build this stuff, people like it too. Okay, great. Now, which needed good stone. Mama. That's right. What? Yes, good yes. gray house. I t h i n k you are a little bit of a house. I think you a r i t t l e b o a l o f m y g r a y h o u s e s t h e f e n c e d g r a y h o u s e t h e g o o d g r a y h o u s e s And three small gray houses. Now, those add various levels of physical resistance. And now I finally got physical resistance up to plus one across my castle. Which means all of my characters now have plus one in their physical resistance. Except for my Yuiki, which already had plus one, now they have plus two. So, 10% damage resistance for most of them and. I'm not sure whether plus two is 20 or, th 20 or 25 percent reduction, but it's all good. Now I uprooted most of my trees, so let's find them again. I don't use fatigue much, so I'm going to stick with extra magic. And I'll put down another stone producing item. Now, I did notice that something I want to build as soon as I can. Where is it? Here it is. It's a mining research facility. Now we have those mining shacks that let us mine better stuff, and this does that as well as adding one to every mining. So every time we hit a mining point, it'll add either, it'll double the production, that's a possibility, or it'll add one to the number of items I get from it. Which is probably more likely, but I'm not yes. throwing out the possibility of And everybody wants to talk to me. <laughs> Risha and Sally has something to say to us again today. Alright, let's hear it. So she has interesting stuff to say most of the time. So, our goal should be the overthrow of Influus Kingdom. <laughs> Influus overthrow, huh? Anyway, I've always. This has kind of been, bo been bothering Avaro for a while. Why does Rishu. Hate influence kingdom so much anyway. It's not that she hates the kingdom, it is, after all, her duty, would be a better way to put it. She has the weirdest way of talking, too, laughing. Duty, huh? So, it isn't because you dislike the kingdom, it's because it's, as Raurosa's ruler, it's what you have to do, huh? Yes, 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 yes,
行動が決められるわけではないのです。Kick you off my fucking castle, jeez. Alright, so she says that nobles work, at, work in the pursuit of their histories. And it's not her individual thoughts that drive her towards doing this. So, the overthrow of Influ's kingdom is the、uh, long standing desire of the Santashi Eifu Federation and her ancestors. Lame. So, she, as the current ruler, has to act to proudly uphold her, his, her city's history. Well, she certainly has a lot of confidence, and that's cool after a fashion. <laughs> well, Avoro doesn't have the、uh, objections that I have, so he straight up thinks that Nisha and Sally is a bit cool in the, here. So, this federation or whatever, this is of、uh, cities and countries like Rao Rosso, right? And they did. This federation thing in order to oppose influence as a large kingdom that it is. So, they must come at it, or you must not. Sibet and the Ude of Arima Sevane. Now, Varo's speculation is partly right. That was part of the reason, but it's not all. Woohoo, history lesson. Now, the soft come Bengo no Okwa. Moto to Doreba, influence to Onazi so much the order. Here's a nice new map. And this here is listing the Santashi Eighth Federation. So that's off in this direction. And it introduced Ofukoku, which is Influence Kingdom. I mean, being this area. Right now, the castle is parked in here somewhere. Oh, and the, the way of overflowing spirits is right here. It even shows up on this map. So, this federation that includes Rao Rosso was originally part of the same civilization, society, as Influence. And due to problems in the past, they had to split up and now they're at war. So there was a secession going on. Gunio Tatenos is any influence, Stagavana Monotina, Ixum, Shokokia, Vexia, Ogoku, Suzoka Stanis. That isn't exactly correct. The old order collapsed, and in trying to re establish the countries in the region, Influence Kingdom was one that arose in the area, Santa Shea Federation was another. And there's also Raksusia Kingdom in the south, actually. Rebuilding the kingdoms. Countries. So, Avaro doesn't come from this country, so he doesn't know all the history. So, want to hear about it? A little bit for now. Influence Kingdom was started by Fuchsia, the god, right? Hmm, now that Avaro thinks about it, Rishan Tseli and Rao Rosso also worship Fuchsia. Well, it's good that Avaro heard at least that much. But 
While she can't say that he's wrong, she also can't say that he's entirely correct. So apparently Avaro doesn't know all the details. Here we go. Roroso and the Santa Cia Federation, along with Influs Kingdom, and furthermore the Kingdom of the South, were all part of one country once. So Avaro only knew that the country started up by the god Fiusia was introduced. So it looks like the past was a little more complicated than that. So it was a hundred and some odd it was a century and some odd decades ago when this country was destroyed. Its name was Inrax Kingdom. Pretty much all of them worshipped Fuchsia, and it was quite a large country. <laughs> So, certain uh, members of the nobility started a rebellion and in it managed to assassinate the royal family. And with that, the Inrax kingdom fell apart. So, since the large country fell apart, in the area, these v numerous kingdoms and uh, territories started coming up. And that's what started the Rauroso territory and Influs Kingdom, huh? So why are they split up now? To put it simply, the Rauroso family at the time refused to accept the Rus family as their rulers. And for this reason, the Influs Kingdom, which the Rus family started, Raroso did not join. But due to this, there are still effects being shaked, being shaken out. <laughs> so this is the overthrow of Influs, huh? That's pretty stubborn. So, Roroso family, during the Inrax reign, was a renowned family that greatly supported the king. But now, the high priest gives all of his favor to Infrus. Do you remember that guy? High Priest? Navarro doesn't. More maps! We've seen this area map before. I think this is zoomed out a little bit compared to before. But Shinkyo and Sanro, the God's Haze, are our target. And the city of elves, Farariaros. That's where the high priest guy is. Now you're starting to remember him, right? Anyway, the high priest of the Friusia faith has always 
been a rune elf that lived in Faraleoros. So, Thea is aiming for the God's Haze. And that's where Farrea Rearos is. Hmm, now the bar thinks of it. The God's Haze is a holy ground, isn't it? And entry is forbidden and stuff. We're getting a bit off topic. I think Risha actually wants to change the topic. Is she hiding something from us? So, Rauroso as well as Infrus worship the same Fiusia. So, their places should not have a superior and an inferior position. But, the Fusia faith has given its holy ground entirely to Infru's kingdom. You know, the holy ground and their it's a god palace. You could say it's a temple, perhaps. So, the national territory and population differences she'll admit to, but in the same vein, their faith towards the god is the same. Mm, that's true. The gods do stand to gather a lot of power by having people's faith. Yeah, we've witnessed this with Fia. And that's why we go around getting people's trust and making stuff for them. So, although their standing should be the same, Fuchsia's protection and favor has always been, almost without wavering, Infru's kingdom. So, this is humiliating to Raoroso, and it is being taken so lightly of, it's just unbearable. So, in order to prove to them that they are not actually inferior to Infru's kingdom, Raoroso and the rest of the areas that form the Federation have decided... Well, they decided to form the Federation in order to oppose Infru's. Hmm. And this is how your duty came about, huh? Pretty heavy. Interesting that this all came from one country in their in the in their origins. Rishu has never thought of her duty as a heavy thing upon her. And anyway, it's something that her ancestors has always been telling to her. So, with a bit more information now, you can see how we can have this opinion about the history of the countries. Quite the reverse. Since people are gathering more in influence, there is a reason for it, but 
Due to this, justice has gone over to the side of the Santa Shi Eifu Federation. At least in her opinion. Oh man, another thing I want to kick her off her castle for is saying that justice changes by time and circumstance. It doesn't. Anyway. So, this toppling influence thing. This is just a will that she's inherited. It's not because you felt that Rao Rosu was right. Well, she does feel it's right, and she decided with her own will to take up this particular duty. So, people are raised in various environments, but in the end, what they just choose to do is up to each individual. And she, who decided to follow in her ancestors' footsteps, feels that she is fulfilling an important duty. In fact, quite the opposite of feeling repressed by this. She feels like receiving this duty was a great honor. And since she knows what she needs to do, all that she needs to do is act. <laughs> so, she wants to create a Raoroso that won't lose to Inifrus. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Avaro says she's pretty strong. Well, if she weren't strong, she wouldn't be able to lead people. I'll give her that. Seriously, Avaro thinks you're cool. And he'll even say it. And it also conveys just how much you love the territory, the hometown, in which you grew up. So that's a very pleasant assessment to get from Avaro. Risho asks if Avaro has anything he wants to uphold more than anything else. Yeah, he found something recently. Well, she knew he would say that. He's easy to understand that way. And she doesn't... She knows he doesn't need to say her name. Just the way he's kind and... On the other hand, a little bit cruel to her. Well, kind of fear is a bit cruel to her. Well, that was never of our intention, but for what it's worth, he's sorry. But she knows that right now we need to prioritize Fia more than anything else, and that won't change. And with this, Avaro should be able to understand why Rishu makes the decisions she does. Hmm, yeah. Hell, even I kind of get a sense of what she's up to now. So, 
Grisha has had this duty by her side ever since she was born. And in the importance of the duty, it's quite the same as Avaru who only recently acquired his. <laughs> um, within our chests, we are always burning warmly for Raros's people, towns, and all the territory, etc., etc. Okay, I get that you're passionate about this stuff. And in order to fulfill these, she wants to walk this path with Havaro and Fia. <laughs> so, basically, she is on the side a bit, offering to, proposing that Havaro help in the war efforts. And if he would accept, she would be extremely blessed. So that's pretty harsh. But that'll become a war and blood will flow in it. However, well, for those reasons, he isn't going to ride this particular request. So, sorry. Avaro isn't going to use the castle as, well, not as even as a weapon of war, but in order to support war in any fashion. In the first case, we're headed for the God's Haze. We have to fulfill Thea's no wish. Well, she knew he was going to respond that way as well. And she understands. She's a little, uh... She feels a bit lonely having this and not getting any help, though. Well, while he isn't going to help with... Uh, anyway, the overthrow of a country is not so simple anyway. Even if you win against the... in the war, if you don't assassinate all the royal family, then the country won't really be destroyed. Is this really how people think? If you're asking to fight until the country is destroyed, you can't expect people to decide on that so simply. And, to be honest, as a craftsman, Avar really flinches away from the ideals of war. Rishu drops her shoulders a bit at this, but she writes herself properly. She's good at keeping up those appearances. Mm, however, that doesn't mean that Avaro isn't willing to cooperate with Raul Rosso at all. So, how does he mean that? Well, the Federation in the Kingdom and their war isn't something he's going to get involved in. But if you want us to help Raul Rosso out, kind of as a favor to you and also as a favor to the people themselves, he can lend a hand in the way he usually does. So by fixing up things around towns and making things for people that makes their lives more convenient. 
in that fashion, he can cooperate as much as he wants. After all, Rishu is also another one of, of our always important allies. And these techniques he's learned, are, he needs to put to good use. So she was expecting to get nothing, and this apparently surprises her a little. Even to the fact that she drops her ruler act a bit and acts a bit like a starstruck girl. So, this is the answer that Alvaro can give to her. Hopefully, it'll be good enough for her. Well, actually, that answer is good enough. In fact, it was an answer that she rather wanted. And she, in allowing him to help her as a individual rather than as a ruler. She feels like her heart is opening up a little. Hmm. Is that so? Well, her responsibilities as a ruler on the one hand. We are actually helping her out as just a girl. Our Rishu and Seri. And she's kind of impressed by this in a way. Her response, you know, sparkling eyes and things, is kind of charming too. Yes, yes. Oh, good, good. This is a good mood. Havara's heart is leaning towards her. All right, if she keeps this up, the time when they get the day when they get married is not far off. If you're going to say that, at least wait until I'm away. Huh? Please? Man, Rishu is just so over the top. But after a fashion, she's cute for that. Oh, jeez. I think that was the one of the longer scenes we'll see today, though. Alright, Dethelm calls us out. He's got something to talk about. So, according to his story, the... Gushuel ruins have more stuff to them. He found another path that led to an interesting sight. Hmm, to think that it had more. So come on, well, Dethelm isn't so sure it'll be useful, although he doesn't elaborate. But if we have time, we're going to go check it out. Probably won't find anything more a pain in the ass than that giant ass golem. So quick and easy. New maps are good. Okay, Mikeu. This one is a little longer. Is this Guadakuna Company? <laughs> Uh, yes it is. What's up? <laughs> Alright, hear him out. His town is in danger, and we they need help. So as soon as possible you need to mobilize and cough, cough, cough. I'm out of breath already. Yeah. Who knows how long he's been running to get here. So, apparently he's pretty damn desperate. 
Okay, okay. So, hurry up, take some of these breaths and calm yourself. So, once you're able to speak in more than two senses at a time, let's get the information we want because... Well, Alright, Fia offers him some water. If you can, drink it slowly. He drinks it in one gulp. Okay, sorry. I've calmed down a little bit. No, I can't calm down now. If this continues, the Mura... The Mura... The town is in danger. Oh, the town will be wiped out? That is pretty bad. Alright, let's get the details. Okay, so recently, near their village, they found some ruins. After all, there have been these earthquakes recently, you know. And they found an entrance into them. Hmm, earthquakes, huh? I've always seems to think this has something to do with the castle taking itself out of the earth and moving around. So, there have been eh, adventurers who have tried exploring the ruins, but they've been pretty beat up. So, when they go out to explore, they always come back injured. And it's all it's just these pretty cruel burns. So, they're probably flame monsters in there. それだけじゃ、村にまで危険が及ぶことなんてなかったんだ。その魔物は遺跡から出ることなんてないみたいだから。if it were just that, it, the village wouldn't be in any danger because the monsters don't seem to be leaving. But the ruins have started bit by bit spitting out some pretty impressive heat and flames and it's damaging the forest. Now, forest fires, huh? Oh. Yep, these forest fires have been occurring. And they have been getting larger. The adventurers haven't been able to do anything about it, and the villagers themselves are totally useless in this kind of situation. So, if we leave it like this, the forest will be gone completely. And in the worst case, the flames might even get so far as the village. And if that happens, that's the end of it. So, they've, that's why they've come here with their quest for the company. Exactly. They'll put together whatever payment they need to, but please do it. Right. Oh man, this is bad. See, in that case, rather than us, why do you not consider the country's knights? Well, no. Relying on the Night Corps takes rather too long. Kisner, you are listening? Yeah, she finished her training for a day and she thought she would come and help out the company. But she came at a good time, apparently. So, what's this about the nights taking too long? 
どうしても申請と許可のやり取りが発生する。The Army can't move on in one day. They need to submit reports and get permissions and things. Yeah, that would be bad if the village was in danger right now, huh? So, that. Show Su say it. So, stay jit in the mood, they don't know I could be that. Right. So, if you want to fix this, you should probably deploy somebody who can move quickly. Say, I was such an anakin, I'm taking it. Kono Anken no Kai Ketsu was show Kai de Uke Bekita. And fortunately, we in the castle have somebody who is well suited to this task. Kisner happens to be looking at a certain person. A certain person. Well, whose scene was this again? Oh, yes, this was Mikayu's scene. That's right. Since we have Mikayu here, This is a good job for us. So, due to Mikayu's specialty, she is probably more suited as a mage than most of the other mages of the kingdom. Well, this is getting Mikayu kind of aroused. She's happy to be. So well appraised by somebody, and she really respects、uh, Kisner too. Her tail starts wagging. It's pretty cute. <laughs> It's flapping. Fia wants to touch it.、Uh, please restrain yourself, Fia. So to say she's well suited to it, that's because her magic works well against flames and heat, huh? Exactly. That's right. This particular request, since you've got magic which is effective against flames, Mikayu is going to be the key. Hmm. Exactly, Mikayu. Think you can do it? So she takes a good swallow. Oh man, the pressure is on. But we can't push her too hard. She's got to decide for herself. So, in light of this village that might disappear without her, she says. Of course, she'll do it. If her magic can be useful to them, she'll be glad to do what she can. Ah, she's got a strong heart under there. So, as much as we can, we get to support her in this particular outfit. So that's the story, village guy. We're gonna head for those ruins, and you can just leave it to us. All right, we've also got a goddess. Thanks a bunch. With this, he can give a good report to his villagers. Well, Kisner is also going to report to the Night Corps as well, because the aftermath, cleanups, and handling stuff will also require a lot of people. All right, we're counting on you for that. And I'm always going to get prepared in his way, which is mostly just building stuff. All right, so let's go off and explore these ruins, conquer these ruins. Well. All right, leave it to this mage, Mikayu. Ah, <laughs> she is kind of cute. All right, so it looks like everybody's fired up. Once we're ready, we should go and tackle these ruins. Oh man. 
I don't have a timer running, so I have no idea how long I've gone. So I'm going to call it a day. And I will see you next time, YouTube.